Uh, I remember I was Skyping with my dad when the earthquake hit. Uh, at first I thought it was the wind and the wind was shaking the building, but after about a couple minutes I realized it's definitely not the wind because it's not going away. So I said, Dad, uh, I think there's an earthquake, I gotta go. And so I, I said goodbye to my dad, shut my computer, and went downstairs to find a bunch of my dorm mates huddled together saying, Kawaii, 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 which means I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. It was the strongest earthquake I ever felt. The way that Japanese reporters were reporting it made the situation seem extremely dire. And of course, it is extremely dire. And um, I thought, man, this is awful and very, very sad. Hearing reports about the power plant, I was a little bit nervous, but I don't think I was scared. Mainly because I felt Fukushima was far enough away that it shouldn't have been a problem. My whole entire family was extremely concerned for my safety. Um, my, I had planned a trip to Kyoto in advance before this earthquake, and my mom was very happy that I was leaving for Kyoto because she thought that I was going to get radiation exposure and that I was going to get cancer. I, and then I remember getting the email saying that we had to get home and being absolutely devastated and thinking, great, my, my dream is over. I remember hitting the convenience store the day after the earthquake and I couldn't find any water or bread and it was out forever. I wasn't worried at all but however you know the school in the in the states evacuated us anyway. In Japan you know even after this great disaster people still maintain a very orderly fashion. They line themselves up to get water and uh, after four hours of waiting for just water, they say thank you. You know, there's no you know uh, breaking in houses. There's no uh, robbing each other. There's there's nothing like that. I'm I'm saying you know this disaster just proved that you know this society, this civilization is just very is very orderly. And I think there is a they're always they're always hopeful about everything. There were signs everywhere. Here in America too, it says "Gambare Nihon," and I think that's important. You got to keep morale up because if morale is up, nothing else will, isn't up. Nothing else will go up either.